Charlotte the Scientist Finds a Cure. Written by Camille Andros, illustrated by Brianne Farley. Charlotte was a serious scientist. She spent her days doing research, performing experiments, and solving problems. Charlotte lived in the forest with her bunny-sized family, which was bigger and better than ever because Grandpa had moved in. Grandpa was wise. He had many awards, and when he spoke, everyone paid attention. Every day, Grandpa visited Charlotte in her lab. He watched her doing research, performing experiments, and solving problems. Every day, Grandpa said, Charlotte, you are going to make a real difference in the world. Charlotte paid attention. One day, Grandpa didn't come to the lab. He was sick, and Grandpa wasn't the only one. A mysterious malady had infected the animals of the forest. Charlotte wanted to help. Maybe this was her chance to make a difference. She swapped her magnifying glass for a stethoscope, her protective glasses for a mask and gloves, and got to work. It was time for some serious medical science. Charlotte would find a cure. First, she collected a complete medical history on each patient. What seems to be the problem? Next, she gave a thorough physical exam. Patient privacy was a top priority. Then she gathered specimens. Next, but her results were inconclusive. Charlotte was stumped. The infection was spreading fast, so she imposed a quarantine. But keeping bunnies in one place was next to impossible. The birds kept flying away, and skunk stinking simultaneously was proving problematic. Meanwhile, a team of doctors arrived to visit Grandpa. Charlotte was eager to share her research and work with them to find a cure, but instead... They ignored her. Run along, little one. This is grown-up work. Charlotte wondered if they were right. She was little, and the doctors were very smart. Maybe she should leave it to the experts. But then she remembered what Grandpa had told her. Charlotte, you're going to make a real difference in the world. She would find the cure herself. Charlotte dissected the data, studied the samples, and plotted out patterns. Soon, a curious carrot connection emerged. Everyone who was sick had been eating carrots. In fact, the carrots hadn't looked right for quite some time. Charlotte formed a hypothesis. If everyone who was sick had been eating carrots, then the carrots were what was making everyone sick. Charlotte consulted the comprehensive compendium of carrot conditions. It could only be one thing. Funky forest fungi. After careful consideration, Charlotte came up with a second hypothesis. If eating the infected carrots was making everyone sick, then stopping contaminated carrot consumption could be the cure. Stop! Do not eat the carrots! Hmm? Charlotte went back to work. The carrots needed to be cured. She created a customized carrot corrective. Charlotte thought a few sprays a day should do the trick. 
It worked. But Charlotte didn't stop there. She conducted a clinical trial to see if eating cured carrots could mend the malady. It did. Charlotte realized she didn't need to be the oldest or smartest. She had stopped the sickness, cured the carrots, and saved the forest. Charlotte had made a difference. And best of all was the difference in how she saw herself. In Charlotte the Scientist Finds a Cure, Charlotte uses science to find the cure for the mysterious malady that has infected the forest. Doctors, researchers, and other medical professionals use science to diagnose, treat, prevent, and cure diseases. Many scientific and medical terms are used in this book. You can find their definitions in the glossary. Boys and girls, I'm gonna let you have time to look through this glossary with the grown-ups around you. We have many great clinical trials that are being tested right now against that COVID-19 virus. Please stay engaged in your STEM learning subjects, science, technology, engineering, and math, and of course, reading, because they're important.